welcome back, folks, and a yo-ho to you all, me hearties! For when we last left off, those ghost pirates were defeating all the dungeoneers left, right, center, and all the other angles. So, I suggested that we go back to a place that we've been to before, with a pirate dragon. It's not a pirate dragon. It totally is! I saw an eye patch in its hoard. It is a pirate dragon if e'er I saw one. Just because it has a... Just because it has an eye patch doesn't mean to say it's a pirate. I think they also saw a blunderbuss there, and the pirates use blunderbusses. I think I also saw a crossbow as well. They also use crossbows. I think I also saw a baguette as well. He not be a pirate, I know. So, let's go and defeat the dragon, shall we? We have to defeat a dragon. Here for the Golden Sun Idol. Just like the last five losers from the Ivory League. Uh, you will pay for your greed. Ah, you're all the way over there, I see. Well, let's start uh, leaving, shall we? Here's a Frenzied Goblin. And here's another Frenzied Goblin. We're going to go this way. We're going to go get that treasure chest, because we need to defeat an evil dragon. Let's go and fight this goblin. It has a fury trait, so we need to watch out. We have just triggered it. Oh, we need to watch out. We have just triggered that fury trait. Ow. That's gonna hurt. Can we actually survive against a frenzied goblin? Um, sort of, if we tread water here with that. Can you not? Oh. Makata, unfortunately, has perished to a goblin. It's not our day. Which animal would be a dungeoneer? A cunning fox? An agile deer? Or a fearsome beast for a foe's condemning? But alas, this dungeoneer's a lemming. That did not go so well. At all. Unfortunately, we were kind of bested by a dragon. We didn't even look at what traits the dragon had. Because the dragon obliterated us with one of the various monsters in the area rather than the dragon itself. What do you actually have, Mr. Dragon, as your stats? You have sorcery, demonic, and flame. So pretty much counter everything with magic. And unfortunately... We do not have something to actually lead over to another area, so we just need to do this. So we're actually lost, basically, one turn of uh, movement there. Ooh. I don't like that already. Because that will push him into the uh, frenzy trait. However, we only need to do one point of damage. There is our one point of damage. Tom did not suffer the fate, but Carter did. Which is good. We're actually going to take the eyeball charm here. <laughs> ah, well, the dragon is uh, defeating all the enemies there. Oh, we only have one person there. That's not great. It's also a null berserker. I've got to be honest, I haven't fought null berserkers for a while, so I have sort of forgot what they can do. They are sluggish, which means that our defense cards are twice as effective. Not particularly good right now, because we didn't draw a defense card. And I think it only deals physical damage anyway. Which is not so great. I think it only literally just deals... Yeah, I think it only literally just deals physical damage. Fortunately, camouflage is twice as effective here. So all we need is a card that deals... Oh, well, we can use camouflage again. And we just need to deal one point of physical damage right there. Excellent. Excellent! That, I believe, is success. And there is a silly hat. However, here is... Uh, I think we'll have to use the hat. We just need more magic defense cards is what we need. Think you can come here and steal me treasure? He said me treasure. Maybe he, in fact, is a pirate. Maybe I was wrong. Well, 
we're gonna have to fight a worm at some point, so let's try now. Okay, can we defeat a worm here? We're about to find out. Oh, that's a good start. It was a very good start. Half of his health gone before he even does anything. It's a really good start. Let's go here. Three points of damage. I need to deal one point of damage. He is tenacious, but that is not going to help. It's not going to help because he's at one point anyway. Kapow! Level four! could take that, but we seem not to be getting any magic defense items at all. Well, maybe we can just out-damage him. I'm... Oh, wow. Do we want to fight a worm, a worm, or a worm? I think the phrase is we want to fight a worm, apparently. We're going for that treasure chest, though. We should be better capable at um, fighting with this mace, although the mace might just dilute our card pool with things we don't want. But, they're all physical cards, which means they're all quick cards as well. We're just basically, um, racing down the, uh, the damage here, and we have more health, so in the long run, we will win. Admittedly, we won there with one point of health. Oh, wait. No, we didn't, because of the tenacious trait. Keep forgetting about that trait. <coughs> hmm, padded vest hmm, provides some good stuff there. I think we'll have to take that. It's a nice piece of armor. <coughs> so what's in the chest here? Well, we're about to find out. Oh dear. I remember you. I remember you to the point that I'm not actually going to fight you. I'm just going to take the treasure chest, the free loot. Cavalier's hat, eh. That's a good card. We'll have that. We'll have that. Okay. Yeah, I'm not fighting a uh, jungle shaman. Not by any stretch of the imagination. I will, however, fight a gargoyle. This might be a mistake. This could be a mistake. I don't think it is, though. Here we go. Let's see. What can I do here? I think I'll just take focus. There we go. Plus one magic damage. I think I'll take camouflage now for plus one physical damage. It's a shame I don't have a card that deals both. Oh. Well, we're going to have to do that now. That's a lot of magic damage I just took. Have to deal some damage pretty quickly. And I need to deal two points of damage, and I have two points of damage. Excellent. The Gargoyle has fallen. With that, we get more loot. Red mail. Mm, spear. Yes. So, pretty much with two items, I can get two really good magic defense cards. We could go and fight him. I'm almost tempted to. Almost being the key word here. I'm almost tempted to fight him. I'm just going to see what else we can get. I'll try one more and then we're going to go fight him. But those cards are pretty good. However, I do believe one of the cards that uh, he'll have with flame there might be the burn card. I really don't want him to have the burn card. We do need a few better pieces of equipment though. However, we have a lot of cards that have a uh, quick trade here, so that's not so bad. Let's have a look here. In fact, I do believe that one will secure me victory. Apart from the tenacious trade. But we have multiple sources of damage, so it has secured me victory anyway. What do I get? Wolf pelt. Actually, the cards that we get from that are actually pretty good. So we might actually want to keep these cards. We might actually want to go and fight the uh, opponent here. Let's go fight the opponent. I'm feeling brave. All right, Tom Driscoll. Apparently we are a stupid adventurer. Let us see how dumb we are. 
That's not particularly dumb so far. Draw a card. Ooh. Discards. Well, we'll want to use this card in that case. If we're going to have to discard, we might as well gain a card back. Alright, that's three magic damage. I can do nothing against three magic damage. Puts us at three health. That's two. If successful, draw a card. What I'm going to have to do here is I'm going to have to deal two damage back. Let's successful gain a health. Ooh, actually, that's a big difference. In fact, we have perished. We have perished purely because of that one card that drew him one point of health. Curses, you dragon! 70 gold, though. Across the land from far and wide, they come to the guild and want to fight. Sad to see them sliced and diced. Not only once, but twice and thrice. <laughs> oh, we are just not having luck with these Dungeoneers today, are we? Oh, no! Dungeoneers are falling left and right, and we're going to play as another shapeshifter. Alright. Attempt number three against the dragon. We're going to be victorious at some point. I hope. Oh, dear. Hello, Pixies. How are you? How are you indeed? We shall now deal large quantities of damage. But enough damage that we can, uh, Reduce you to one health, or the equivalent of. Like that. Don't steal the damage card. You did not steal the damage card. That is good. For now, you have perished. We need some quick cards. We need some defense cards. The eyeball charm is really not what I was looking for here. But I'll take it for the plus one health. I'll take it. Alright, what else have we got? We have a lot of actual opponents, but nothing we can actually use to move. Except that. So, we're actually going to uh, get one turn closer to the dragon. Oh, the dragon. I remember actually the dragon being particularly difficult when I fought against him. Uh, we're going to block that. And then hopefully we... Ooh. I was about to say, hopefully we'll just find lots of damage to defeat this goblin with, but, uh, evidently not. Uh, fortunately, Rekindle here is going to save us. Just. Ouch. Dead Lizard Charm? Better? Maybe? You know what, I'll take it. We just basically replaced the item we just got, but, uh, hey! Maybe we'll do well. And we only have one opponent. Which is a poisonous snake. This has been a very... A not very successful selection of monsters. You are wondering, which means you just move each turn. We just haven't really been getting decent cards. Or decent loot. Actually, that's not true. We got pretty good loot last time. But that card that healed one for the dragon was the only thing there that pretty much secured that we lost there. We'll cycle a card. And it'll be a mind strike, which means we get even more cards. However, this snake is slowly but surely whittling us down. Slowly but surely. Fortunately, Warrior's Might here will actually secure us a victory. Which is not bad. Ooh, always a good card, but we... Mm. Actually, it's just a pretty good card. We'll take it. We'll take it. And unfortunately, you're getting even closer, which really isn't that good. And, uh, oh dear. We have nothing that we can use to actually get towards that chest. That's really not great. Emmerwin is, uh, not having much luck here. At all. No luck at all. Hmm. Well, I suppose we take advantage of this and draw a card. Seems like a good plan. Hmm. 
little bit of damage. That is actually quite a nasty card, the Venom 3-1. That's a 3 damage card. And we actually can't block any of that damage, so we might as well just heal a little and try and mitigate it. Let's, ah, we can block that, though. We can block that! I get the feeling this one's not going to be that successful either, purely because we have got no real decent cards. I'm just triggering Tenacious there. Mm, three. Can we block any of that? No. No, we actually can't. So instead, we're going to have to use Regenerate. Which will get us back to two health. And we can block two of that. That was really close. Whew. Okay, what have we got? A flintlock? Padded vest? Ooh! Yes! Padded vest is actually a fantastic card there. Wow. Right, we have a chance to go and get to the chest, so we're going to make a run for it. That's a good card! Really like that card! Yep, pretty good. We'll take one point of damage here. And... Suppose we'll get some magic focus going? What else have we got? suppose we'll also deal some damage and heal some damage. That said, we just got a really good card and we're not seeing much use of it yet. Aha! Arcane Barrage, however, we can take advantage of. And... Aspect of the Dragon, we can also take advantage of. We need a weapon now. That's what we need. We need a weapon. Also, I'm gonna use Brace here. Armor 3, proving to be useful. Excellent. And with that... We'll just deal some more damage and defeat the worm. Next turn. For we have plenty of damage. It's almost like the hopeful music has just come on to herald our potential victory. Hmm. No. No, we lose too much. We lose too we'll take that again, I suppose. Right, we literally have to get this item next turn. We'll put that there. We'll also put that there to buy us a turn. Okay. Alright, Worm. We need to get a weapon. We need to deal loads of magic damage to you, apparently. Excellent. And we can't block that, so we might as well just use counter here. Alright, we can defeat this dragon. We can also use this. What a card. That is a fantastic card. Heal three, draw two cards. It's a wonderful card. And I know Tenacious is going to trigger here, but we have plenty of damage. Plenty of damage. What is in this treasure chest that we can use? You have two chances to get a weapon here. There's a weapon. A pretty good one, too. We will lose... Taking that gives us spiky, but we lose so much that we're going to have to take the spear. What do we get? Nothing I really want to use. Nope, we're just going to take some gold. Mine! All mine! Well, it can be all yours. We're as ready as we'll ever be. Let's fight the dragon. Now I have you! Well, let's see. Take two. Come on, Emoen. We could defeat this. I have to use focus here. Not a good start. Not a good start at all. And we could use shift here to draw another card. We actually want to at this point. Because we have some good cards. We need to get to them. That's a good card, for instance. Very good. One damage? Now's the time to draw two cards and gain three hearts. That's such a good card! I think I'm gonna use Brace here. Block all, draw a card. Look at my sheer quantity of cards I have here. Now I'm gonna use Interrupt. 
which blocks all of his damage. What else can I use? Uh, oh, I think I'll use Arcane Barrage here. We're gonna defeat the dragon. The dragon cannot defeat us. Ha ha! I think it's all thanks to Arcane 4. And I do believe, with that, the dragon has been defeated. Excellent. The jungle has been cleared of threats. Well, this is really just quite surprising. Aren't Dungeoneers just cannon fodder? Against all odds, they keep surviving. They're so dumb. Why even bother? 4,000 gold quest bonus. Just gonna put that there. 4,000 gold quest bonus. And also a head injury for uh, Emwyn, which means she starts with uh, stupidity one. But the garden means we have plus one hit points for all Dungeoneers. I don't know why I didn't do that before. But now we have 5,856 gold. That's a lot of gold. It's a lot of gold. So, when we come back, more unfortunately, graves in the graveyard. But we have a piece of loot! A dragon claw. An actual, like, proper piece of loot. That's not bad. So, when we come back, folks, we have new areas to explore. But we might expand the guild first. See? You dealt a fine blow there for all pirate kind against that dragon. For now I have searched his hoard and I can quite honestly say that you're a liar. There were no baguettes at all. Well, that is because they all got burned. What is it? That... So you choked on a baguette. Does that mean it's your mortal enemy? I mean, really? You've choked on other things, I take it. I have a long list of things that are my enemy because of that. For instance, baguettes. Small pieces of pork. Grog. Grog is your enemy? Well, yes, but I do have to drink grog. It's part of the pirate code, so begrudgingly I drink grog. I'm starting to wonder what all the other pirates think about you. They all respect me, for I am the greatest pirate that ever was and ever is. If I actually ask them... Oh, oh, you don't need to ask them. It's okay. Um, they'll only just confirm what I said. Are you sure about that? Oh, definitely, definitely you don't need to. Not at all. So, I'll catch you next time. And I'll see you then. Later.